Now today, I thought I'd make up some really tasty chicken drumsticks. Now they have a really nice coating, nice and crispy, real good flavors on it, so you've got to give these a go. Now for making up these chicken drumsticks, I'm just gonna show you all the ingredients. Now obviously we've got the chicken, but I'm gonna show you the ingredients for making up the marinade, and then I'm gonna show you the ingredients for making up this really tasty coating. Now for making up the marinade, what we're gonna use is Greek yogurt, natural Greek yogurt. I would say you want about four to five tablespoons of natural Greek yogurt. Now, tablespoons are the big ones, so get your big spoon out, and you, you want enough, really, to coat the chicken. Now, also, we're gonna add some ginger paste. I would say you want about two tablespoons of that, and the same amount, two tablespoons of garlic puree. They kind of mix together, with this Greek yogurt and it all spreads over the chicken and it just really gives it a lovely marinade. Now also, you wanna use a little bit of lemon juice. Now if you've got a big lemon, I'd say use the juice of half a lemon. This is a really tiny one, so I'm gonna use all the juice there and that helps to slightly tenderize it and flavor it. So that is gonna be a really simple base flavor marinade and you marinate it ideally overnight. Now when you come back the next day and you're ready to cook it up, what we're gonna do is to make a really tasty coating that's gonna have lovely textures and really good flavors. Now for that, I'm gonna use, again, tablespoon measurements. I'm gonna use about three tablespoons of breadcrumbs. And again, the same amount, three tablespoons of corn flour, three tablespoons of oats, like porridge oats, the sort of thing you have in the morning. And again, four tablespoons of plain flour. So there's a little bit of texture and it all sticks together and it's wonderful. Now to flavor up this coating, I'm gonna use about one third of a teaspoon. Now a teaspoon's that little one used for putting you know, your sugar in your cups of tea. So one third of a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of either chili powder, or you can use cayenne pepper. Then we've got one teaspoon of garlic granules and one teaspoon of herbs. Now the ones I've chosen to use, herbs are the province, and it's a really nice mixture of herbs. So, you know, use those. Now, the other thing I haven't mentioned is salt and pepper, because you need to put salt and pepper on both the coating and the marinade. And the only th other thing is, really, is some eggs. I've got three eggs there, because you want enough to make sure that this sort of, you know, outside mixture sort of all sticks together with the chicken. So I'm going to start with three eggs, see how we go. So nice, simple ingredients. And a lot of these ingredients you might already have, you know, at home. But it makes a really tasty chicken drumstick. So give this one a go. So now I've gone through the ingredients for making up the marinade and the coating. Now with the chicken, I've got my chicken here. In terms of weight, mine weighs roughly about two kilograms. There's probably about 15, 16 chicken drumsticks there. Obviously if, if yours are like slightly larger, then you might have 12, but I've got about 16 of those. I haven't counted them, but it's roughly. Now what I would say is when you buy your chicken drumsticks, Either try and buy from the supermarket or your butchers, but make sure there's no skin on the outside. So there's my chicken drumsticks. I've got about two kilograms of that. So with the piece of chicken, now I'm just gonna move those out of the way for a moment and get yourself a bowl that is big enough. Now what you can do is just slip those in there, like that. And then we're gonna add all the rest of the ingredients for making up this beautiful marinade. Now what I'm gonna do is start off with some freshly ground black pepper. Now do season this really well. That's it, done the black pepper. And again, the salt as well. So put a good amount of salt, lovely. Now no, it doesn't matter what order you put it in, but I've got the Greek yogurt. Now if you find that you know, when you're mixing around, you haven't quite got enough, put a little bit more on. And then obviously I've got the garlic puree and the ginger. And then I've got the lemon. 
Now, obviously, you might get the odd pip in. Don't worry if you get it. But I'm using a smallish lemon. If you've got a big lemon, obviously use less. I think lemon's good because it gives you flavour and it also helps to kind of tenderise it. That's it. Give that a good squeeze. Beautiful, simple marinade. Now get your hands in there and we're just gonna mix this all around and just get everything coated. Lovely. Now what I'm gonna do is, wash my hands, put some cellophane over the top and we're gonna leave that in the fridge. Now ideally, you wanna leave it overnight to build up a little bit of flavor. If you can't wait that long, obviously do it for less time, but you know, if you can marinate it overnight and come back the next day, then you're gonna have a really good flavor for the chicken. So I'm gonna put some cellophane over, pop it in the fridge, and then we're ready to go tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Now it's the next day and I've had my chicken drumsticks marinating overnight, so they've been well marinated, and I've taken them out of the fridge just to let them warm up a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is move that aside, get myself a couple of bowls, and we're gonna start making up that simple mixture for the coating. So we're gonna just put it all in the bowl. Start with the flour, got the oats, breadcrumbs, corn flour, and then we've got some cumin, make sure we get it out. The garlic granules. Then we've got that chili powder or cayenne pepper, whichever one you want to use. And then herbs de Provence. And then finally, just going to put some salt in there. Probably about half a teaspoon, I'd say. And the same amount of freshly ground black pepper. So there is that mixture. It's really simple to do, but you've got different textures and you've got some nice flavors in there. And obviously if you, you know, run out because you've got too much chicken and not enough mixture, just add a little bit more, make up a bit more. But that is now ready to go. Now all I'm gonna do then is just to crack a few eggs in the bowl there and give it a whisk. And then we're gonna go over to the hob, get on with the cooking. So I've come over to the hob. Now I've got my mixture there, the dry mixture. I've got my eggs which have been beaten and there's the chicken, it's all been marinated. Now I've got a pan and what I'm gonna do is put a fair amount of oil in there and we're gonna start by you know, taking the chicken out, dipping it in the dry mixture, and then we're gonna start frying it. So just gonna put the oil in the pan. I'm using sunflower oil, but you know, if you've got a favorite oil, use what you want. So you want a fair amount of oil in there because you do need a enough that when you put your chicken in, it's gonna cook at least one side and then you can flip it over and do the other side. So put plenty of oil in there. Now what I'm gonna do is switch the pan on. Now whilst that's warming up, what I'm going to do is just grab my chicken. I'm just going to lay that in that mixture there. Just gently roll it over. Just spread that around a little bit. Lovely. Try and get it nicely coated. And again, I'm just going to do that with a, a small pan full. So let's just roll that around. So again, just waiting for that to come up to heat. And I'm probably going to do about half a dozen or so of these chicken drumsticks. So I've got my chicken drumsticks, got a pan full there. And I think the pan's probably just about come up to a sort of medium heat. So let's just pop one of those in. So again, I'm just gonna carry on until really we've got like a pan full. That's it. I've probably been cooking mine for just about five minutes. So I'm just gonna gently turn them over so that we're building up the color all the way around. Lovely. Now I've had my piece of chicken cooking for around about 15 minutes and I think we've got a nice little bit of colour on there. We are going to cook it some more, but we've got nice golden brown colour, so I'm going to take those out of the pan, let them cool down a little bit, and then what we're going to do is dip them in the egg mixture and then back in that spice sort of coating. So just going to pull those out and what I'll also do is just switch my heat off at the moment. So I've left the chicken piece to cool down probably for about five minutes. So again, just gonna switch the heat back on. Same sort of temperature, about medium heat. And once that's come up to temperature, I'm gonna dip the chicken in the egg, back in this, you know, sort of coating mixture, and then straight in the pan. So let's just grab a piece of that chicken there. 
Just roll it around in the egg. Get it nicely coated with the egg. All right. And then we can go in that mixture there. It's the same coating. And like I say, if you need to add a little bit more to finish all your chicken drumsticks, then you know you can do that. It's easy enough to make up. Like that. Just give it a gentle shake off and then we can pop one in there. So I'll carry on doing that with all the rest of them that we're doing this batch, first batch. So again, I've got them all back in the pan there. Same heat and again, just build up the colour on the outside so they look nice and golden brown. And now we've got the second coating, this is where they're going to look really delicious because you're going to have a nice thick lumpy little coat and it's going to absolutely be delicious and nice and crispy. So keep those cooking away, turn them over, build up the colour and then you know when you've got a nice golden brown colour all over you can pull one out, check it's nicely cooked throughout and then just take all the rest of them out. Now with that chicken, look at it, the beautiful coating. The second time round with that egg mixture and going back into it, it really gives a lovely crispy coating. Now I probably had the second time of cooking, cooking for about 10 minutes. So about 15 for the first one, 10 minutes. So I would say it's had about 25 minutes in total and I reckon those are done. So I'm gonna switch the heat off very carefully, put them on a plate. Look at that. And then I'm gonna take them over to the table and we're gonna try one. Now I've come over to the table. Now when I was cooking those, I definitely had six of those and two have gone missing. I left them here to cool down just for a few minutes because they were a little bit hot and uh, somehow they've gone. But I am gonna try one of these. So which one should I have? Mm, I think I kind of fancy this one actually. Look at that. Hmm. Now I can tell this coating is absolutely nice and crispy. It kind of looks like a sort of KFC coating with all the textures and oh, this is a try that. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. That is gorgeous. The coating is so delicious. You get just a little bit of heat from that chili powder, hint of the cumin and the garlic granules as well. Absolutely lovely. And the meat is nice and tender because obviously we left it overnight with, you know, the yogurt and add that sort of lemon juice, just a marinade. And I think that helps to make it nice and tender. But that is a lovely, lovely coating. You must go and try this one. Mm. Oh, it's gorgeous. Mm. And the meat is nicely cooked all the way through. So about 25 minutes in the pan, and at the end of it, you've got something finger licking good. Go and make this, you'll enjoy. Go and check me other videos out, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel, because I'm always putting videos out. I try and make sure they're nice and tasty, so you can go and make the same thing. And, you know, leave the comments. I appreciate all the ratings and don't forget to ring the bell.